Yo, what's up, guys? Karan Place here, and welcome back to the 29th episode of the Chelsea Career Mode series. In the last episode, we played three games and won all of them, thanks to the performances of Milinkovic Savic and obviously Mason Mount. He went ahead and picked up another player of the episode. Here is his 86 rated player of the episode card. Out of the three player of the episode votes that we have had till now, Mason Mount has won two of them. And what do you think, guys? Is it time to you know promote him to the first team? Because well, we do have Hakim Ziyech who is also playing brilliantly, but this guy Mason Mount is you know giving him a run for his money. So maybe in the next match we might be seeing Mason Mount playing for the first team. Who knows? Well, I've had enough of it, guys. This is the last time I'm changing the kit numbers. Hakim Ziyech goes back to number 22, the one which he started off with. Mason Mount, well, because of his performances, I've given him the number eight. That's a huge boost for his morale. I mean, getting Frank Lampard's old number brings a lot of expectations from him. And lastly, as Hakim Ziyech took away his number 22 and Mason Mount gone the number eight, Christian Pulisic takes away Mason Mount's old number and he's now a new number 19. Hopefully now you all are satisfied with the kit numbers and now let's move on. As I said in the previous episode, we have a huge game in this one. We face Juventus in the Champions League group stages. We won our first game in the Champions League group stage, they also won theirs. So maybe, I know it's a little early, but maybe this match might give us an insight on, you know, who's gonna finish top of the group. Before taking a look at the team that we're gonna be fielding against them, let's go ahead and attend the press conference. Can your team continue with another win? Of course man, I hope they do, but against Juventus, it ain't gonna be an easy job. What is the sentiment regarding the previous match? Obviously, we went ahead and beat Wolves 2-1. They took the lead, again, you know, we were down at the half-time break. So well, we have to play better, that is obvious, but we have proven tactics, we make comebacks in the second half a lot of times. So as long as we're getting the win, who cares how it comes. Do you hope to bring stability to the team's performance? Yep, that's one thing that we have to do, you know. We're on a three game winning streak here, we've got to maintain that so that, you know, we can prove that we are one of the biggest clubs in the world. With the additions that we've made into our side, I think we can do so. Press conference done and dusted, we take a look at our team that's going to be facing Juventus. Timo Werner up top, Dembele, Ziyech and Sancho are attacking midfielders. Kante and Milinkovic Savic are CDMs, Reese James, Milan Skriniar, Kalidu Koulibaly and Alex Telles are back four. As usual, Kepa starting in the Champions League, hoping to bring in another clean sheet for our side. This time I've started Reese James because y'all know man, Juventus have a deadly attack. Paulo Dybala, Cristiano Ronaldo, you know what, I should end it just there man. Cristiano Ronaldo, you've got to play as many defenders as possible because that man, especially in the Champions League, is unstoppable. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get on with the game. I did not play Mason Mount in this one either because if we, you know, just shove him into the first team against Juventus and he doesn't perform as well as he has been, well, that will take a toll on his confidence and maybe even in his performances in the future. So I've gone with ZH in this one. Hopefully we can get the three points here. And here we are at the Stamford Bridge. Champions League action up next. Chelsea versus Juventus or PM Monte Calcio, whatever you want to call it. For sure, it's gonna be a difficult match, especially against such a mammoth side. Seven UCL titles to their name, one UCL title to ours. They've got loads of experience in this side, and we have been building a young side. Let's see whether experience will prevail or young blood. Here's the Juventus 11 4 3 1 2 Ronaldo and Aubameyang up top, Bernardeschi in the cam role, Pjanic, Ramsey, and Rabio, their central midfielders, Trent Alexander Arnold, Gabriel Paulista, Matthias Delict and Danny Lowe, they're back four, and Wojciech Szczesny in goal. Well, isn't it surprising that I was mentioning Dybala and he hasn't started, but in fact, I guess you could call Aubameyang, you know, a better player, considering that Dybala's not on the side, and well, Aubameyang is a better striker for sure. Maybe over Bernardeschi, Dybala could have played, but well, who knows, maybe Bernardeschi is so good in the cam role that Juventus have gone with him. Obviously, we don't even need to talk about Ronaldo, he's just... I don't have any votes for him, he's my GOAT, guys. Y'all let me know who do you think is your GOAT but for me, it's gonna be Cristiano Ronaldo for sure. Their defense also looks young and solid. Trent Alexander-Arnold moved from Liverpool to Juventus and well, him whipping in crosses for Aubameyang and Cristiano Ronaldo is something I'm not looking forward to. Dilek, the captain of the side at such a young age alongside Gabriel Paulista, who's another young, decent defender. Danilo, obviously the most experienced out of all of these guys and Vosicek Szczesny, who's been great for Juventus ever since joining them. It's gonna be a tough game, but that's what makes it more exciting. Let's go ahead and get on with it. Okay, Aubameyang is in a dangerous position here. He takes the shot on. Kepa, as usual, makes the save out of his near post. First chance goes to Juventus and Aubameyang almost gave them the lead there. Reese James plays it to Yeron Sancho now. 
Sancho on the ball now in the two games that he has played for us he's provided assists in both so yeah he's had a fantastic start to his Chelsea career Dembele finds Hakim Ziyech wow honestly this is the second time Dembele is playing in that free roam position and he's been fantastic for us Sancho again getting involved in the goal brilliant pass to find Dembele and Dembele's pass for Hakim Ziyech was absolutely phenomenal Sancho, great turn from him. Dembele took one touch to set himself up, played it to Ziyech. Ziyech, first time finish. We take the lead at the Stamford Bridge against Juventus. Danilo on the ball now. Plays it to Cristiano Ronaldo. Up against Milan's Skriniar, who wins the ball back for us. Koulibaly finds Kante. We might have a chance on the counter here. Kante with a fantastic through ball for Sancho. Sancho looking for Hakim Ziyech. No, he plays it to Usman Dembele. Who can give us a two-goal advantage? And he does so. Usman Dembele is on fire, guys. Jaden Sancho has made an instinct impact on this Chelsea team. A lot of key passes and, well, three games played, three assists for him. Usman Dembele getting his second goal in as many games. Things are looking bright for our team. Bernardeski finds Aubameyang. Aubameyang's shot is blocked by Khalidou Koulibaly. They get another corner here. Aubameyang has found himself in brilliant spaces today, but unfortunately for him, he couldn't finish any of those chances. Pjanic finds Cristiano Ronaldo, who flicks the ball up and takes the shot on. Thankfully, it missed the target, but it wasn't far off, was it? Sancho again skipping past players like they aren't even there. Sierra Sancho again on the ball now. Plays it to Hakim Ziyech. Ziyech to make it 3-0 for us. Guys, it's just getting obscene here. Sancho is running the show for us. Hakim Ziyech... Gets his brace against Juventus within the first half. 3-0, I think so. This is game done, guys. What an absolute machine Sancho is. Just look at the spaces that he creates for himself and for our other players. Plays it to Hakim Ziyech. Brilliant turn. Finesse shot. Chesney had no chance. So the stats speak for themselves. A clinical first half for Chelsea here. Our new signings finally showing what they're made of. Jaden Sancho is making a stick here. He's been involved in all three goals. One key pass, two assists, Hakim Ziyech with two goals and Usman Dembele also with one goal. Finally, a brilliant first half for us and we take the lead at the half-time break. 63 minutes played, Juventus have gotten desperate. They made a double change. They brought Isco on for Bernadeschi and, well, NDD on for Adrian Rabiot. I think it's time that we also made some tactical changes here. Timo Werner hasn't been involved in the attack at all. Ozyman comes on for him. Usman Dembele has done more than his job here. It's time to bring Christian Pulisic on for him and last but certainly not the least, Kovacic comes on for Milinkovic Savic here. Trent Alexander-Arnold on the ball now. Whips this one in a dangerous cross here. Kepa with the clearance. Are you kidding me? That's the goal they're going to score. What an awful goal to concede here. Alexander-Arnold looking for Cristiano Ronaldo. Kepa came off his line to block the cross. Miralin Pjanic was in the perfect position and well, he put the ball into the empty net. Kante... Looking for Victor Oziman. What a fantastic through ball from Engoro Kante. Victor Oziman against Dilik takes the shot on. 4 1, guys. Absolutely phenomenal from our team. Kante to Victor Oziman. What a fantastic through ball. And well, what a fantastic finish from Oziman, too. A brilliant, brilliant through ball from Engoro Kante to find our number 9, Victor Oziman, who came on as a substitute for Timo Werner. He drove it right into the bottom left. No chance for Wojciech Chesney. Christian Pulisic running down that left wing. A final chance for us. Pulisic has left Trent Alexander-Arnold for dead here. Christian Pulisic plays it to Victor Rosiman, but the ball is intercepted. Kovacic cuts the ball now, takes the finish shot on. Are you kidding me? I thought that was into the back of the net. But I can't complain, guys. 4-1, we have thrashed Juventus. If we perform like this every single game, guys, it's going to be an easy season for us. What a fantastic performance from our side. We could have even kept the clean sheet if not for that lucky goal for Miralem Pjanic there. Hakim Ziyech, well, proving to us why he should play over Mason Mount. I think we made the right decision playing Ziyech in this one. And well, maybe Mount will get his chance in the first team down the line. But surely Hakim Ziyech has proven to us why he's still the number one man for us. Well, guys, we've gotten another youth squad report here. Nothing too interesting, right? I mean, this is probably the same rating that they were before this one. But look at this guy, man. Victor Wouters from 87 to 94 has gone up to 90 to 94. What a player he's gonna be for the future, guys. Do we sign him right now? Y'all let me know down in the comment section below. Up next, we have a match in the Premier League versus Leicester City. You are in the second position in the league. A win for us here means that we will finally get into the top four. But coming up against the second place team in the league, 
You know the drill guys, it isn't gonna be an easy match. Hopefully we get the 3 points here and someone please man just defeat Liverpool. 8 games played for them, they've won all of them, 24 points in 8 games. Man it's gonna be tough winning the title. Thankfully we had a lot of days for our team to you know, recover the stamina. I can again feel my first team here. We're going with the same lineup that face you enters. Reese James starts again in that right back role. He delivered a solid performance and well kept Cristiano Ronaldo at bay. Hopefully we can put a similar performance against Leicester City here and you know get the 3 points again at the Stamford Bridge. Let's go ahead and get the 3 points. And hopefully this time the clean sheet too. Tell us. Plays it to our new number 6 Sergei Milinkovic Savic. Hakim Ziyech has made a fantastic run here. Unfortunately he was offside otherwise man it would have been another brilliant run from Hakim Ziyech and well possibly another goal. Hakim Ziyech has intercepted the ball and Timu Bakayoko our former Chelsea player intercepts his pass otherwise surely we would have been in again but unfortunately this time it wasn't the offside flag that stopped us. It was in fact our former player Timu Bakayoko. Sancho has a lot of space down the right flank here. Here on Sancho. Finds Hakim Ziyech. Ziyech makes it 1-0. Hits the post and finds it way into the back of the net. For the fourth game running, Sancho finds an assist for one of our players. Again linking up with Hakim Ziyech here. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Yet on Sancho plays it to Hakim Ziyech. Ziyech with the finesse shot. His left foot is deadly man, once he gets it off, you know what's gonna happen. He puts it into the back of the net. It hit the post and went in, so obviously no chance for Kasper Schmeichel. And we get the lead again here. Usman Dembele finds himself on the edge of the box here. Still Usman, plays it to ZH. Now Timo Werner looking for Usman Dembele. Oh, fantastic play guys. Obscene, that was just obscene man. Usman Dembele for the third game running man has found the back of the net. Are you kidding me? What a team we have assembled here. Surely man, if we had performed like this from the start of the Premier League, we would have been in the top spot right now. Dembele to ZH and Timo Werner. What a fantastic pass man. Dembele finds the bottom corner. 2-0 at the halftime break for us. Couldn't have asked for anything better. Preet on the ball now. Plays it back to Ayose Perez who takes the shot on but Sergei Milinkovic Savic is there to block his attempt. And they get a corner here. Sancho here. Again taking on their players, finds Usman Dembele, Timo Werner is in the box but Dembele wants to take it on his own here, Dembele to Sancho, Sancho almost man, his finishing well hasn't been the best here but we can't say anything to him man, he's been instrumental for us creating chances left right centre, hopefully he can find a shooting booth soon. Teles intercepts this one, plays it to Dembele who skips past Ricardo Pereira as if he wasn't even there, Dembele. Looking for Timo Werner here, but the pass or even the run maybe, just something wasn't on point there. 66 minutes played, Hakim Ziyech has done his job here, Mason Mount deserves a chance in this game. Tielemans hasn't played for a long time now, we give him an opportunity here too, he comes on and replaces Milinkovic Savic. Sancho on the ball now, whips it in towards Usman Dembele, whose header was fantastic. Timo Werner is brilliantly positioned to knock it into the back of the net. 3-0 guys. I can't believe that Dembele went ahead and won that header and we are now 3-0 up. Brilliant, brilliant work from Jaden Sancho to find Usman Dembele. His header was also terrific, I mean it was time to perfection but Kasper Schmeichel with a great save unfortunately on the rebound for him. Timo Werner reacted the quickest and he gets his goal after one or two matches which does feel like a long break for him. That's the reputation he's made for himself. We are 3-0 up in the 70th minute, we are cruising now. Hamza Chaudhry finds James Madison who was desperate man. He took a shot from long range, went for power and well obviously that didn't work out well for him. Tielemans finds Dembele who's looking for Mason Mount who's made a fantastic run here. Gets the ball away from Justin. Still Mason Mount on the ball now. Great turning from him. Mason Mount finds Tielemans who takes the long shot against his former club. Couldn't find the back of the net. Jaden Sancho on the rebound. Puts it into the back of the net but unfortunately he still couldn't get his first goal because well he was in an offside position. Usman Dembele making the interception here. Finds Mason Mount now. Mount for the finesse shot. Oh my god guys. Mason Mount. Well I've got to say it again. This guy is unstoppable. What a finesse shot that actually reminded me of some of the finishes Timo Werner made last season. Brilliant ball from Usman Dembele. He gets an assist here and Mason Mount a substitute 
showing us that maybe, maybe we should start playing with two cams. I don't know, man. We've got to find a way to fit in Mason Mount, Timo Werner, Hakim Ziyech, Usman Dembele, Jadon Sancho, all in one side. It's going to be tough. For now, obviously, we're going to continue with the 4-2-3-1 and, well, four goals for us and the clean sheet up till now. Mason Mount again on the ball now. Plays it to Werner, who plays it to Jaden Sancho to make it 5-0 for us and get his first goal for the club. What a rocket, guys. What even has happened to Leicester City? They've crumbled here. Timo Werner getting another assist here and Jaden Sancho finally gets his first goal for the club. And what a banger of a finish it was indeed. A last chance for Leicester City from a corner here. Whipped in, Koulibaly clearance makes its way to Timo Bakayoko. Are you kidding me? They've scored here and Bakayoko even has the audacity to celebrate even after being 5-0 down. They get a goal here and well, Bakayoko scoring against his former club and celebrating too. Well, I can't believe this man. We've again bottled a clean sheet in successive matches. 5-1. And that's it guys. Second half has come to an end here. We've thrashed Leicester City 5-1 here. We thrash Juventus 4-1-2. Unfortunately, that one... We need to get rid of it because otherwise we won't be able to accomplish the wall of Kepa and well, we've got to stop conceding such shitty goals. And well, I'm sticking to my word here guys, I'm giving Traore all the training he needs in defending and well, guys, he's actually been performing decently here. Another being the adept defending scenarios training drill. Not bad at all guys. And well, the moment I guess all Chelsea fans and Yadon Sancho himself was waiting for. He gets his first goal of the season in a 5-1 thrilling encounter against Leicester City. Honestly guys though, at the end of the season I do want to see how many assists this guy racks up because I'm pretty sure it's already above 5. We are now sitting 6 points behind Liverpool, obviously they are just going off here. We've taken 2 wells against Manchester United and Liverpool, apart from that, well, fantastic, fantastic performances all round. I guess we are now on a 5 game winning streak here, looking forward to continuing it and well, hopefully in the coming few episodes we can, you know, at least reduce the gap, you know. Please Liverpool, at least get a draw, if not a loss. But yeah, we need to reduce the gap as soon as possible. Our next game is again in the Premier League. This time against Norwich City, away from home. They're in the 16th position. I thought that, you know, for games below the 13th place team, we would submit. But I've changed it to, you know, teams 15th place or below. Norwich City matched that criteria. So we're gonna be simming this match. And well, within a few days after this game, we have a match in the Champions League. So yeah, for this game, I'm gonna go with my second team. Hopefully, we can get the three points here. Here it is, guys. I've gone with my second team. Kepa again starting for the second team here because, well, unfortunately for him, he hasn't been able to keep a clean sheet in the last two games, just conceding the one idiotic goals. But yep, he starts here again for us. As I said, he'd be in most of the Premier League games. Traore also returns to the side in that right-back role. He replaces Rhys James in the second team. Tomori and Rudiger are centre-back pairing and Emerson are last defender in the side. Hudson and Doi, Kovacic, Tielemans and Pulisic are midfielders. Mason Mount are Cam and, well, Victor Oziman leading the line. Away from home, obviously, it's going to be a little tricky. But seeing that Norwich are 16th in the table, I think it should be an easy 3 points for us. And easy it was, guys. 3-0 against Norwich City. Somebody stop Mason Mount. I mean, no, don't stop him, but yeah. Mason Mount with another brace here, Hudson Odoi also getting a goal for us. Clean sheet for Kepa, perfect results. 3-0, three, 3 points, another clean sheet. Job well done, I must say. This is so true, guys. Chelsea can rely on Jadon Sancho, who's performing superbly right now. Even by his standards, he's exceeding expectations. And well, I hope that he can, you know, maintain this red-hot form. And well, this team of the week is filled with Chelsea players. We've got like 5 players in this one. Reese James, Zeus Man Dembele, Mason Mount, Jadon Sancho and well, Timo Werner. Interesting to see that Hakim Ziyech didn't make the cut and well, Mason Mount did. But well, Mason Mount did get two goals against Norwich and well, a goal against Leicester City too. So yeah, I guess he did deserve his position in this team of the week. Well, quarantine has hit our manager hard here. He's growing hair from every single direction. Looking like the second coming of Keanu Reeves here. Just look at his head, man. Facial hair is well a dream for me, but evidently... Not for current plays here, he has facial hair for the first time in his life. And well, his head is full of hair man, he looks like Keanu Reeves here. He's changed his outfit too, he's looking like a boss here, he's wearing the Chelsea club jacket and well, looking a lot more professional now. Well, that's something we haven't done in a while, you know, change our manager's appearance and evidently quarantine did hit him hard, but he isn't looking too shabby. He's cleaned up his act and well, is looking a lot more professional. 
apart from his hairdo obviously. It is now time for our player of the episode and well I had a lot of contenders for this one. Timo Werner, ZH, Dembele, Sancho, Mason Mount, every single one of them was involved in a lot of goals, a lot of assists. But guys, it's between our two new signings, Jadon Sancho and Usman Dembele. I think Dembele's and Sancho's goals and assists meant a little bit more for our side and well, there are player of the episode contenders. Click that i button and vote for your player of the episode. And that's it for this episode guys, we end the episode on well, third position. It's a big jump from I guess 5th or 6th we were at the start of this episode. So yeah, getting into the third place within 2 matches of the Premier League is absolutely fantastic. 7 wins. 2 losses in the 9 games we've played, I'll take that man, we could have had a better record but well we've got to look on the positive here, we've won 6 games in a row and well in the last 3 matches guys we've scored 4, 5 and 3, that is 12 goals in just 3 games, a phenomenal output from our side. Smash that like button if you all enjoyed this episode, do not forget to share, subscribe and well obviously leave your suggestions down in the comment section below. Hit that bell icon so you're the first one to know whenever I upload the next episode.